what's up you guys and welcome to another shed crazy video and this is actually a shed crazy video because we're actually hunting sheds and i'm so excited that it's finally time had a lot of stuff slowing me down this past week some sick kids i had a little bout with an illness too and kept me out of the hills but that's okay because we're just now getting to where the elk are starting to drop like really starting to drop so i cruised down here to arizona last night uh, i'm shed hunting in a place I've shed hunted this unit before, but not this exact area. Um, I found some new roads to come up and it doesn't look like there's been too many people in here. Maybe that's because there's no elk here too. Um, but I'm gonna go give it a shot today. It would be amazing if I could get on the board with the first brown of the year. But if you're new to this channel, subscribe here. We got some cool stuff going on. So anyway, I'm gonna get the pack on and get to hiking. Pretty good sign down in this bottom. Tracks everywhere. And all the trees are pretty thrashed up. Like this. It snowed a little last night, so I'm not able to see how fresh tracks are for sure, but probably a bowl or two hanging in this thorny mess. Looks like they dropped down off right there, but man. Little dagger thorns. They're whites, but we are starting off with a freaking bang. Big set, baby, side by side. Hard whites from last year, yes! Big white right there, big white, yes! Freaking going, baby. Nice shed, like a 330, 340 type bull. And there's his other hack. Yes! Oh, that's a better bull than I thought. Look how big his beam is. Yeah, baby! <laughs> you guys, I freaking have needed an elk trip for so long and just to see stud side by side set. Oh my heck, I'm so happy. So stinking happy that I chose this ridge. Oh yes, yes, yes. Take some pictures and film a pickup. Look at that. Look at that, it's got a big beam. I think he's like a 330, 340 type bull. Long beam, oh, side by side sets are the freaking best. I think I got some good picks. Let's pick this thing up and then I'll film a little bit for you. Holding them together. Oh, they have good weight to them. Surprisingly, that's a good bull. Surprisingly good weight. Yeah, baby, that's like a nine pounder. And then homeboy over here. Just as good. Oh man, the color on them's awesome. Oh, good horns, good shed. Good freaking bull, baby, yes! Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to get him in the frame there but freaking sweet bull beautiful set good back end the kind of back end you dream about and just no no cracks at all hard white last year's bull but that gives me hope for these ridges because they're in a wide open spot on this little ridge and maybe there are some more bulls kicking around in here that we didn't know about but man that feels good just get a solid set an hour into the hike an hour one of my favorite things i love about shed hunting is the solitude and the time you get to stop and reflect and think about everything as i was hiking along I was thinking back a year ago i was on this trip and uh, I was driving home after four or five days of hiking and my wife called me and asked, what do you know about this coronavirus thing? And I said, oh, I've heard about it on the news and stuff, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. And she said, well, why don't you stop on the way home at the grocery store and just get a few things in case we need to lock down or shut down for a couple weeks. I said, okay. so." 
on my way home from this very trip i spent a few hundred dollars at the grocery store got some non-perishable food items and went home not knowing that we were about to step into the biggest crap show of my lifetime and it's crazy to think about how different the world is right now than it was a year ago we were lucky our kids were able to get into our charter school i know not everybody had the option of doing something different with their kids so they never had to stay home and they were able to get their socialization and everything i don't want to dive too much of the politics of the thing but i just feel bad for all the people who missed out on a year of their lives you know i feel bad for the kids who didn't get to play sports people who this should have been their senior year and i feel bad for people who had to stay home people who lost work and lost their jobs and whew, it's just crazy to reflect on it all i can't believe it's been a year and uh i'm done with it i'm done with it um I don't know where I was going with this, just kind of like getting out in the hills and wandering around. It lets me reflect on things and it's kind of what was on my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the play-by-play -play of what just happened. All right, I'm walking. I'm thinking about buying a rental house. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, uh, and I'm like, <laughs> boom! <laughs> That's a big shed. That's a uh, hard white. Got one little crack, so probably a two year old antler. Just hiding up here on this point and got really long fronts. Just when it's from uh, 19 or 20, which is a real bad drought year down here. You can see he's got like 16 inch front, 18 inch second, you know, a good 16 to 18 inch third, and then just dies on his back end. But that's a good, a good antler, really. Especially for the grant the drought year. But still grades hard white. Throw it on the pack with the other ones and keep going. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, just a droughty bull. He uh weighs nothing, like five pounds maybe. Good color on the back still. Still grade hard white pretty easy. But big front end on him dead on the back end um, I think I'll make a loop I was kind of headed off of this point but I might loop over this way or back up make one more line and see if I can just match and maybe with this one getting missed his other side might be right here worth a look what you think about it Ooh, isn't it pretty pretty I got a horn right here. It's got to be a white, but it looks weird. Looks like a bit of a freak or something. Maybe even old. <laughs> Look at that freaky sucker. Hard white, just like everything that's last year's. Look at that freak. <laughs> cool shed number four for the day my battery light is flashing so we'll see what we can get but wicked looking little white wonder if his other half's around here somewhere just in this thick stuff but rubs all over good bull sign so there could be some more around right. what the heck it's pretty pink on that front point but it's not cracked so maybe a couple years old, but I think it's just colored from laying in the dirt. Weird antler. That's a freak. I like that thing. <laughs> maybe go in the keeper pile. I don't know. It's pretty heavy. It'd weigh up pretty good. Cool. Throw her on the pack. Keep rolling. Getting to be a pretty decent looking pack. I'm trying this pack frame out. I got it at Sportsman's. It's just an old Kelty cash hauler. Uh, it sucks. It hauls them good, but I need a little bit more 
accessories, I guess, than that one. But decent load of hard white for the day. Just need to find them browns. Well, it's not a elk shed, but <laughs> nice little splitting mall. I'm only 100 yards from the truck, so I'll probably keep that. The handle's junk. Probably only a $10 ax, but I'll throw a new handle on it and have one. Not bad. Well, made her back to the truck here. Um, it is cold. I got cold, but now the truck's fired up and I'm warm, so I'm going to crawl in the back here in a minute. Jump in the old canvas cutter and go to sleep. Uh, it's going to be a chilly night up here on the top, but uh, that's all right. As I was driving down this road tonight, I saw there was a boot track. Somebody walked it. Um, the first one I've seen on this little romp. So there's a few guys around, but overall it was a fun day. Picked up a few sheds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's also going to do it for this video. But I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. I had a spot of service right here. So I'm going to make sure I get that done before I lose you. Because my battery light, she's a flashing. Um, Let's see. Orders. Here we go. So these didn't want to up, oh, they're not wanting to update. Maybe they'll come through. Oh, they did it. They came through. All right, so Bob Rasmussen. I can't remember if I got you in the last video or not, Bob, but if I did, double thanks. Appreciate it, Bob. Uh, Jeremy Bastian, thank you very much for a good size order. Tracy Nipper, my buddy from Georgia, thank you. I appreciate it. Myron Naranjo with a really big order. Thank you, buddy. And I uh, enjoyed your comments on YouTube, man. So thank you guys for watching these videos. Thanks for following along with what I'm doing. I hope you had a good day. I know that I did, and I will see you in the morning when I wake up.